Hey friends, welcome back to Healthy Grocery Girl. I'm so excited about today's video because I'm sharing with you what I eat in a day, which is one of my favorite types of videos to share. And today's video is also a collab with my friend and fellow YouTuber, Nicole, from the YouTube channel, Health Net Nutrition. So Nicole has achieved something amazing. She's written a book, which is a huge accomplishment. So congrats, Nicole. Her book is called The Health Nut Cookbook. And this book is not only beautiful, it's the texture of this book is amazing. It feels so great, but the pictures are beautiful. The recipes are amazing. And so today I picked three recipes from her book that I'm gonna be making and eating and enjoying throughout the day. And I'll be sharing with you. And then Nicole over on her channel, she has picked some recipes from our YouTube channel, from our blog, that she's gonna make and enjoy and share with you also. And if you love free things and you also love cookbooks, head on over to my Instagram to enter our giveaway. We are giving away one copy of Nicole's book, The Health Net Cookbook. I'll put a link below in the video description box for my Instagram, which is also at Healthy Grocery Girl. So this is a collab. So after you watch today's video, head on over to Nicole's YouTube channel, watch her video where she's sharing some of my recipes in a what I eat in a day video. Say hi in the comments, let her know that Healthy Grocery Girl sent you. Make sure you subscribe to her channel and go check out her video. She has so many amazing videos on her channel. You're probably gonna hang out there for a while. And if you're new to Healthy Grocery Girl, welcome. I am so excited that you are here. My name is Megan and I'm a registered dietitian nutritionist. I'm also a wife and a mom. And my husband, Aaron, and I, we run Healthy Grocery Girl together, our YouTube channel, our blog, and we share real food recipes, wellness, the occasional motherhood, and sometimes a vlog style video. So if you love all things food, family, and wellness, this is the channel for you. So make sure you subscribe so you stay connected. Follow me on Instagram, at Healthy Grocery Girl, and you can also check out our blog, healthygrocerygirl.com. Okay, so now after all of that, let's get started with today's video. I always start my day with a big glass of water, and then lately I've been having some organic decaf coffee with steamed ripple pea protein milk. For breakfast, I'm having this really yummy lemon pie chia pudding from Nicole's book, and here's how you make it. You will need full fat coconut milk and the zest and juice of a lemon, chia seeds, pure vanilla extract, pure maple syrup, ground turmeric, in a medium glass bowl, combine coconut milk, chia seeds, maple syrup, vanilla, turmeric, and lemon zest and lemon juice. Then I mix together, covered, and placed in the fridge overnight. For the topping, we're going to make a coconut whipped cream and you'll also need toasted unsweetened coconut and lemon zest. Divide the chia pudding among bowls or jars or cups that you love and top with a coconut whipped cream, a sprinkle of the toasted coconut, lemon zest, and oh my gosh, you guys, this recipe is so good. It tastes like dessert, but it's for breakfast and it's super delicious. I'm having Nicole's shredded Caesar salad. I love Caesar salads. I could eat them every single day. And here's how you make this recipe. You will need shredded Brussels sprouts, shredded kale, shredded red cabbage, a ripe avocado, and almond flour Parmesan, which I'll share with you how to make that as well. For the creamy Caesar dressing, you will need cashew soaked overnight, garlic, lemon, water, extra virgin olive oil, caper brine, nutritional yeast, gluten-free tamari, sea salt and pepper, and capers. In a large salad bowl, toss together the Brussels sprouts, kale, and red cabbage. Then in a high-speed blender, combine the cashews, garlic, lemon juice, water, olive oil, caper brine, nutritional yeast, tamari, and a pinch of each sea salt and pepper, and blend until smooth and creamy. Then stir in the minced capers. For the almond parm, you will need almond flour, nutritional yeast, sea salt, garlic powder, and extra virgin olive oil. To make the parm, I simply stirred everything together in a small bowl. Nicole recommends pulsing the parm in a food processor, which honestly would work better, but I was lazy, so this is what worked for me, and it still tastes great. Drizzle the creamy Caesar dressing over the salad and toss until well coated.
scatter the avocado on top, sprinkle with the almond flour parm, and serve. For an afternoon snack, I've just been keeping it really simple, and lately I've just been having an apple with some almonds. I also like a cup of tea in the afternoon, and usually it's lemon balm or red raspberry leaf tea. Okay, it's dinner time. I'm so hungry and I'm so excited because we're having soup tonight and soup is one of my favorite type of meals. It's comforting and warm and delicious. And dinner tonight is this smoky white bean kale soup. To make this recipe, you will need extra virgin olive oil, shallots, garlic, celery, carrots, vegetable stock, bay leaf, thyme, paprika, sea salt, black pepper, red chili flakes, cannellini or white beans, kale, and lemon. In a large pot, heat the olive oil over medium heat. Add the shallots and garlic and cook for one to two minutes until fragrant. Then add celery and carrots and cook for three minutes, stirring frequently. Pour in the vegetable stock, add the bay leaf, thyme, paprika, salt, black pepper, chili flakes, and white beans and bring to a gentle boil. Cover, reduce the heat to medium low, and simmer for 25 to 30 minutes until the vegetables are cooked and tender, stirring halfway through. Remove the bay leaf, then transfer four cups of the soup into a high-speed blender and puree for 10 seconds. Pour the pureed soup back into the pot, stir in the kale and lemon juice, and simmer for another five minutes. Ladle the hot soup into bowls, and you can store any leftovers in an airtight container in the fridge, and it'll last for up to a week, or in the freezer for up to a month. In the evening, if I'm hungry, I'll have a snack, and lately I've been having a bowl of these organic morning O's with non-dairy milk. I love that they are low in sugar, and they also have six grams of protein per serving. I also drink a lot of tea, and right now my favorite evening tea of choice is this pregnancy tea from Traditional Medicinals. And then I didn't mention this, but I do drink a ton of water throughout the day also. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this what I eat in a day. And for more information on the recipes that I shared from Nicole's book, The Health Nut Cookbook, they're on my blog today. I'll also put a link where you can order a copy of her book, or if you wanna win a free copy, make sure you enter the giveaway on my Instagram. Don't forget to head on over to Nicole's YouTube channel now and watch her video, see what recipes that she's making, what healthy grocery girl recipes that she picked and is enjoying throughout her day. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.